You know these children. You've seen them before. You tried to ignore their plight. You just told yourself, Well, maybe those parents have a good reason for doing that to their child. You disgust me. It's people like you that invented Hitler. You disgusting, evil, rotten... God! Why do you make me so mad? Anyway, every day thousands of children are publicly degraded by being dragged around on baby leashes. This is the sad story of but a few of these tragic cases. This man, we'll call him Bob, was put on a leash, or as they called it, a safety harness, as a child from the ages of two months old to 14 years old. Hello, my name is, uh, my name is Travis. Oh no, you don't have to use your real name. Okay, um, uh, my name, my name is Billy. My parents had me on, uh, basically what amounted to a leash attached to a harness for as long as I can remember, even though uh, I try to forget to remember what I can't forget. We asked him how this affected him emotionally. How did this affect you emotionally? Well, I mean, sometimes I just really wish that they were still alive so I could just ask them, you know, why, why they did that to me. Your parents passed away? No, I, 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 I killed them. Um, I guess I, uh, I guess I should have asked them, uh, why, you know, before I killed them, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> hindsight's always twenty twenty, right? I mean, come on, you know, I wasn't really, uh, I wasn't really thinking about questions to ask them at that point, you know, just, just, the, just the baseball bat and, and the, and the, and the peanut butter. In the, in the steamroller. This family, we'll call them the Thompsons, uses a child harness on their son, Gerald. Ah, uh, we're the Wilsons. And this thing over in the sh out of the shot that you can't see is their stupid son, Matthew, who's too much of a diva to come into the shot. So, the wife here is playing tug of war with the child. See, this is why we got to keep him here, because he just keeps moving around. He wasn't this way in the womb at all. He was in that very unconscious. You want a cookie? If you sit, I'll get... Stop it! Stop! Yeah, like she says, you know, no problems in the womb, but the moment he comes out, he's like, oh, feed me, feed me, give me something to eat. You want to take all your toys away? One time, I took him to the bar with me, and we were hanging... I know! I'm talking! Leave me alone! I took him to the bar, and I was like, Son, hold my drink. Hold my drink. And he just stared at me like... Like he didn't know what to do with the drink. He's like... You need to sit down, or... Do not start crying. I will give you something to cry about, boy. This man is Paul Staincrotch. He is the CEO of the company Better Safe Than Free, a company that manufactures child harnesses and other child safety products. The fact is, the things we manufacture here at our company make children safe. They keep children safe, and a safe child is a happy child. You have my guarantee. We asked him about whether or not he thought his company's products could conceivably harm children psychologically. No, definitely not. Um, the products that we make here, well, I guess you could, no. The fact of the matter is, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to tell you what the thing is. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The products that we make here are for children's safety. 
Now the fact of the matter is, some of that safety is, is definitely dehumanizing and degrading. But I don't think it could ever actually be used to harm a child. His answers were bizarre, and he smelled like wet cardboard and monkey corpses. But we continued the interview. That, that, that camera's off, right? You know, to tell you the truth, I hate kids. I hate kids. I actually, uh, I can't stand them. I can't even stand being around them. They smell strange. They, they say things that are just bizarre and you can't understand them most of the time. They can't even speak correct English. I mean, they're, they're, they're almost as bad as immigrants. Our company has um, a wide variety of products to keep children safe. And that's what we do here. We are interested in child safety. We're interested in your children being safe. So we manufacture just tons of products. Uh, some of them are even affordable. We have these big plastic balls, uh, like kind of like a hamster ball, but for children, child size hamster ball. We, uh, we've come out with uh, safety bracelets, keeps your hands bound together. Um, Cause the fact of the matter is if your hands are attached at the wrist, it makes it that much more difficult for a child to reach for the crack pipe or to reach for the machine gun or to reach for the switch to turn on the nuclear bomb. Look, these are products made by kids for kids because most of our products are made overseas. And let me tell you something, if it wasn't for those goddamn child labor laws, we'd make them right here in the good old USA. That would create much needed jobs for two to six year olds. And let me tell you something, that's more, more money, more money for our company, more products on our shelves, and more candy in their mouths. And everyone wins in that scenario. How could you argue with that? You can't argue with that. It's not possible to argue with that. Let's say that this lint roller represents child safety, okay? Look what I'm doing, okay? Let's say that this roll of tape represents child safety. Shit. Let's say that this hole punchy thingy is represents child safety. Then, let's say this lighthouse represents child safety. Now, it's, it's, it's a lighthouse. Um, it's, it's, it's perfectly uh, symmetrical. Uh, it's, it's got a nice shape to it. It's, you know, I mean, it's obvious. It's, it's a perfectly good metaphor for child safety. I mean, the facts don't lie, you know? Child safety lies within you, in, in your heart, I know that your parents um, kept you on a child harness uh, for most of your life, but let's face it, they're, they're really not your worst enemy right now. Right now, your worst enemy is Mr. Flashlight. That's right, Mr. Flashlight has come to join the party. What are you doing? Don't like Mr. Flashlight, oh, do we? No, no, oh, it's, Mr. It's Flashlight! It's so, oh, leave me alone, Mr. Flashlight! What are you so, doing to me? What are you doing? So you gonna terrible. reveal my Come identity, on. Mr. Flashlight? On, oh, please. Uh, and by the way, uh, I know we already started and stuff, but uh, you ain't getting the couch in the shot because it's kind of ugly. The wife wanted it, but I, I didn't. You ain't getting the, the couch in the shot, are you? No, def definitely not. We can't see the couch at all. Um, okay. I, where Where is your son? Because... Matthew! Oh Matthew. my! Matthew! Where, where's damn, the car keys? Damn kid! Ran out of the car again! Get my shoes, woman! Get my shoes! Get my shoes! Excuse me, ma'am, but um... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold, hold on, Janice. Yes? Um, I couldn't help but notice you have your uh, child on a uh, leash and harness here. Uh, well, it's a dangerous world. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Um, but why, uh, why do you do that? I have to use my left hand for the cell phone, my right hand gesture. How else am I gonna take care of the child? I put the leash on my belt loop. Hello? How do you feel about uh, this? I know what to talk about that. Mommy says complaining causes cancer. Baby leashes, child harnesses, safety cages. Do these things really help kids be safe? 
or do they simply degrade them? These are the questions we must ask ourselves. So the next time you see a parent out in public, walking their child like a dog on the end of a baby leash, go up to them and tell them, you're a horrible person. I know, because I saw a movie about it. Santa Claus, by the way.